Marcus, it seems like only yesterday that we were sitting here interviewing you after you'd arrived at the club a year ago. Has that year flown by for you? Yeah, definitely. It's It's been a, an amazing amazing season. I thought it couldn't have gone uh, any better on, on a personal and, and the team level in, in the sense of the season. So I'm, I'm delighted for what's happened so far. It's certainly been a successful first year for you. Your reward being a new contract. You said you said it was an easy decision to make. Yeah, hundred percent. I knew, even if this didn't come around, that that my my plans and ambitions were to to do well at this club. And and luckily enough, so far they they have done with a with a comp. I feel like we defeating all the the people who who told us that we weren't going to do so well. You clearly feel the club is ambitious, and it's going places as well. Yeah, definitely. Well, especially when the when the new owner took over, he took us in the room and, and spoke to us about his plans and he stuck true to them and, and it looks like it's going to be a promising future. And the new owner, Bill Foley, said the team would not be relegated last season and he was correct. He's also said he wants the team to push towards European football. That must excite you as a player. Yeah, definitely. That's all you, you want as a player, to, to play at the highest of levels. And the first step was to, to stay up this last season and, and we've done that. Now it's time to, to build on it this season and and, and push for high, higher places in the league. Personally for you, it was a season of ups and downs. Tell us about the ups first of all. Yeah, it was obviously great. I got my, my dream to, to play in this league and that's what I came here to do, to, to play against the, the best players in the world and, and to challenge myself. And this club gave me that platform and I'm forever thankful for that. And I just want to continue to, to build on that and, and help take this club higher up. And the downs, obviously, being the, the injury situation. Yeah, obviously, that, that comes with the game. It's, it's happened probably a bit too much for, for my like. And I feel like if, if I was a bit fair, who knows what could have happened. But it's something I've, I've got to, to work on for next season to, to stay as fit as possible for as long as possible. You won the goal of the season and the Junior Cherries player of the season. Did the season go better than you anticipated it would? I didn't know what to, to expect too much because obviously it's... Like I, I told everyone, it's someone, it's some, something new for me. It's, I was moving away from from what I like to call home and coming to the toughest league in the world. So it was a, it was probably, um, I don't know. It was just, it was an, it was an easy, easy place to settle down and and be able to be myself on and off the pitch. So I think that's had a big factor in in terms of how I've played. I know you've been working hard during the off season, rehabbing. Just tell us how things are with the hamstring now. Yeah, everything's going well. Um, can't thank the the medical team enough for that. I mean, I've been in over over the off season. I know that the plan is to 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 get fit and and stay fit. And then if that's what they, they need me to do, I'm I'm here to do it. And everything's going going really well so far. It's quite a short turnaround this year as well. Have you had a chance to recharge your batteries as well? Yeah, I've had a, a little chance to to recharge my batteries, and I'm looking to to go away and and spend some more time with my family. Now, the championship playoffs didn't quite go the way that you were hoping for, for Middlesbrough. So just tell us, what you what do you make of the three teams that are coming up, uh, Burnley, Sheffield United and Luton? Um, they're, all, they're, all, they're all good teams and to get in this league, you, have to, you, don't, you don't do it by, by luck. You, you play your way to get in this league and a lot of people will say things about all the other teams, but you, you've got to just focus on ourselves because a lot of teams doubted us and a lot of, a lot of people doubted us out there and we, and we proved them wrong. We so, saw... In a sense, you don't want to give give teams that fire to to, to prove prove everyone else wrong. Fixtures out this week. Were there any that stand out for you? Maybe a stadium you might have missed out on and playing in last season, or any any team even? Yeah, definitely to to miss out on the Emirates. That's the, probably the the main one. But I feel like the, even though the fixtures list came out, we we can't look too into detail on it because last season we we started off really tough and. We had a lot of ups and downs during the season, but we learned very quickly that you just take it a game at a time. I'd just like to ask you about Junior Stanislas. I know someone that you struck up a really firm friendship. Just tell us how much of an inspiration he's been for you since you've been here. Yeah, he's been great. I mean, he's really helped me a lot through through my times where I've been injured. I mean, he won't like it, but he's been my driver recently uh, when I haven't had my car. But and I've been having some one-to-one chats with him, which have he spoke a lot of a lot of confidence in me. I remember when. I was struggling at, to start off with in the in the team, and he had, he had chats with me, knowing that if I have the ability, it'll come to me on the pitch. And I just can't thank him enough for for what he's done, and he's been a great person for this club. What are your hopes personally for next season? Firstly, I just want to stay stay fit and and not get injured as as much as if not not at all. But I really want to help the team and in, in putting 
the ball in the back of the net or assisting players and having a positive impact going forward on the game. Aims for the team, do you think? I feel like we just have to take a game at a time. I know I keep I keep saying it, but we did that last season and, and we proved proved a lot of people wrong and now it's time to to make sure that we, we continue on this, this momentum what we built up towards the end of the season and who knows where it can take us.